Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with a blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Fortis Classic Cosmonaut Steel AM. There's a few versions of this watch with a steel, as you see here, or ceramic bezel coming on a steel bracelet or a range of straps, as well as a few different dials. But this one right here is said to be by Fortis a recreation of the original chronograph they made that was first in open space. Um, that's not why I like it. I like it because I like light dialed sport watches, especially with applied hour markers. And that's exactly what this is. It has a silver dial, which matches the steel color of the case. I found it to be handsome and interesting. Applied numerals there. So they're nice and lifted off the dial with the green loom color. A little bit of orange on there for a character. You know, Fortis calls this watch the Cosmonaut because unlike Omega that has fame with NASA and space travel in, in America, Fortis has been the supplier of watches, I don't know exclusively, but f to Cosmonauts for the Russian space program. And that's pretty cool. This watch is 42 millimeters wide and the case basically looks a lot like a Rolex Daytona. One of the reasons I like it is because I do like the Daytona, just not at 40 millimeters wide. I prefer it in 42 millimeters wide. So if you're ever curious what a 42 millimeter wide Daytona would look like, something a lot like this. And again, I'm not trying to say that Fortis was emulating Rolex and the Daytona, but a lot of people have. I won't blame them because this is otherwise a really nice watch. The dial, of course, has nothing to do with the Daytona. It's just sort of a classic 7750 or a Swiss Eta Valjo 7750. That's the movement, the layout. 12 hour chronograph, day date complication. Super easy to read. I love the, well, it's actually in the name of the watch, classic element to this. This is a highly conservative watch. I imagine a, a discreet, educated engineer wearing something like this. It's really about function. There's literally nothing related to pizzazz. It's a, it's a very utilitarian watch, but there's a handsomeness to it. This is a watch that is worn by someone who does care about the way they look, does care about the way they come across, but is also a very sensible, sensible person. A little bit on the thicker side, but that's expected given the 7750 movement. It's nice that you can see the movement through the case back. Chronograph pushers screw down, which is fine. It's helps with water resistance. Uh, but at the end of the day, it means that in order to use the chronograph, you have to unscrew these pushers so that you can use them. But again, it's on the Daytona, so it needs to be on here. The bracelet isn't quite as nice as the rest of the case. The case has a nice solid feel to it. Feels really good. The bracelet is maybe a little bit flimsier than I like. I think there's some really beautiful strap options that come with this that I think you should definitely look at. I'm a bracelet guy, so I'll wear it on the bracelet. And the bracelet's comfortable, but again, it's quite basic. And I think an upgrade is definitely due, at least the bracelet on a watch like this. The steel bezel is nice because you, you have sort of a nice fluidity in the color. The dial, the bezel, the case, the bracelet. It's all sort of that steel color, which I think looks very, very good. Again, if you want the black ceramic bezel, it's a little bit more, but it's definitely something that um, I, I think would take away from this very fluid classic design. Again, this is the Fortis Classic Cosmonaut Steel AM. A nice watch, definitely for someone who appreciates tool watches, but wants something a little bit conservative. In a sense, it's kind of the ultimate dad watch because it says good things about you, but it doesn't say it too loud. You can see the full review on a blog to watch. Price for this watch is approximately 3,600 Swiss francs.